Here we go. It's time for game number two between Samsung and Spenu. Gragas will be the first ban. Gragas. Gragas, the Gragai. So Eve actually just banning the Gragas on both sides this time. They don't want that champion, and Eve has enough alternate picks that it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Will Spenu ban the Nidalee again and the Rek'Sai? is going to be the question. Maokai ban coming in from Samsung. Don't want Soul to have that champion, even though Soul kind of got styled on by Marin the last time he tried to play Maokai. Uh, the Fizz doing a lot of work. Hmm. Really spending a lot of time on that second ban. They're going to go with the Rise in the end. Well, that means that Rexire in Italy is going to be available here. And both Eve and Catch play Jungle Echo. So I think there's going to be plenty of jungle picks up. So maybe Spenu and Samsung won't go so deep into the jungle bans like we saw in the last game. And Rek'Sai. they're going to ban Rek'Sai, which means the Riven is up, of course. But Soar is not in this game. So I guess Samsung no longer considers that a threat. Nope. Soul has not been exactly known for his carrying in the top lane. What's that last going to be? Last band going to be? Uh, it looks like Samsung's probably going to be able to get Nidalee for Eve in like the second rotation maybe or something like that. Yeah, they could definitely pick something up. And yeah. they're, oh, they're just going to ban it. Wow, okay. they left Alistair up. I don't know about that. Yeah, banning Nidalee. So here's what Spenny's going to try and do. Oh, Azir oh. first pick. Okay, Samsung. Wow, that's bold. I Crowd, mean, look at Crowd's face. He's like, yeah, I got this, boys. He's like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Bring on the Velkas. <laughs> oh, man, that was a great face from uh, from Crown. That was a cocky, I picked his ear face. <laughs> what you going to do about it? The gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> Well, I don't think that Velkos is going to be the option, but there is a Maokai ban this game. So mm, if, sure. you're, if you're Spenu, though, there are other problems. Because both Annie and Alistair are up, it's still really dangerous to play that Velkos. Because even though you don't have that same kind of threat, uh, we could see Kuve play Hecarim here, which would also be very scary for a, a Velkos. So there's still enough junk that could shut the Velkos down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rumble may be the other pick for Spenu here. And Alistar, okay. Rumble Alistar. Yep. And will they go for the Hecarim? Kube switches over to Ignite and teleports. So you got to believe that the Certainly Hecarim is way. going to be picked. Yeah. Alongside, will it be Evelyn or Echo? I like the Eve a little bit better here. Okay, he's going to lock it in. Eve on Eve. Yeah, finally. Well, we've seen it a couple times. I do think the Eve is certainly a bit stronger than the Echo right now in general. Yeah, I think it just depends. I think Echo has a higher upside, but it's Echo is obviously a very difficult champion to play well in team fights. That too. Eve is Eve is more reliable. <laughs> yep, you kind of right click and then like spam hate spikes <laughs> while you run around this run around the team fight. Yep, not very hard and nope. certainly it's like Sono level team fighting basically with uh with Eve. Yeah, except you have to be crafty in the way you get the flanks. That's the yeah. that's the fun part. Well, the start of the fight is the hard part. Once yeah. the fight begins, once you use your ult, then it's then it's face yeah. roll. Once you once you press R, then you just yeah. hammer on the Q key. Yep. If something slows you, you press W. Right click near people you want to kill, or on them even if you're feeling really saucy. Sivir falling way down the draft, and yeah. there's going to be the Jarvan jungle for Catch. He's Whoa. played this a few times, Hasn't and they're worked. going for the Jarvan rumble combo here. So this is a very all-in team composition. They want to get in there very quickly. They want to just everybody mash R and head into a team fight. It's a good comp, actually, from Spenu. Yeah, but immediately Fury just locks in Tristan. He's like, all right, good luck, Jarvan. Just going to bounce right out. They have to take Janna here. Uh, they need some form of disengage, heavy disengage from their support at this stage because even Crown are going to be on the flank and they only have a zero wall to really peel at the moment. And against Headbutt Pulverize combo, Equalizer, Cataclysm, and of course the Sivirol, that is going to be so many picks right in their face. Mm. So yes, I, I definitely agree. Jana is a good reaction. I like the Ezreal much better than the Velkaz here too, because you got to imagine. Uh, well, Karma works as well too, but you got to imagine with the uh, 
equalizer on top of the Cataclysm. You want some big spell to throw in the middle of all of it, and Two Shot Barrage would work fine. I suppose a uh, Montred Q would work okay as well. Uh, actually, I suppose you can just jump in there yourself as well. <laughs> Carlos actually isn't bad here. Yeah, it's it's safe. Uh, Yasuo, I'm not so sure about, but they do have some knockups. Wow, that would I be. I like the Ezreal more. I like the Ezreal too. Yeah. I think especially because the combo that you're trying to pull off here is Jarvan ult, Rumble ult, Ezreal ult, all on top there of each go. other. So this is a massive wombo combo composition. Uh, it's, a, it's a good comp, honestly. It is nice. Yeah. And I mean, the thing is, if people don't get out of that Jarvan ult right away, they are just going to get vaporized <laughs> by all this that stuff. Is a lot of damage. Yep. A lot of damage. It does put a lot of pressure, though, on the catch to hit some good Jarvan ultimates, and he hasn't been the most consistent jungler in terms of solid engages. Well, that's true, but he did against SK Telecom do a great job of ulting onto Mundo and Olaf over and over and over again. In fact, mm. he was one of the reasons why Sasson had such a good game. So I, I actually have a lot of confidence in Catch's ability to do well on this Jarvan in this game, just given how he performed against SKT. Well, it'll be interesting either way. As we look at the rosters here, I mean, Samsung has a lot of ways to get out of that sort of engage as well, too. Eve could be stuck in there, but really everybody else has has options. Jana can push people away. Everyone else can jump out in some form or, or another. Yeah, Jarvan, the problem is there's no peel for Spenu yeah. for the Ezreal. So if Hecarim or Evelyn get on top of Ezreal, Ezreal's never going to do anything in this game. So everyone else is just going to be full tilt running into the enemy team. <laughs> And it's up to Sasin to do some work on his own. Should be some pretty fun team fights. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yes, it will be. As we expected. That's right. Too bad we don't have the Jarvan versus Cyan lore matchup. He's going to get his, his, like, ancestor's crown. But, oh, well. He might just get crown in general. Time to get into game number two. See what I did there? I, I changed it from crown the object to crown the player. You're so clever, Doa. That's yeah. why they pay you the esports bucks. That's right. All the all the dirty esports dollars. You mean wands? All the wands. <laughs> so Making all wands. the wands. So, so many wands. <laughs> Korean millionaire. That's, <laughs> that's right. When you first come to Korea and you get like, you know, a 10,000 won bill, which is like about $10. You're like, wow, I feel like I'm spending Monopoly money or something, you know? <laughs> Early Invade coming in for Spenu to get some warding down. Do you think they want to try to lane swap this? Um, I mean, they have the coin on the Alistair in this game, so hmm. not going to have quite as much sustain as normal. I'm curious what they're going to do also. Samsung looking to get some wards down in the enemy jungle and... Sam, or Spenu doing the same thing. Spenu doing that warding pattern where they take enemy blue buff first, though. This could be interesting. Do you think Secret's going to go all the way up to Talisman, or, or he's going to switch it over to Face of the Mountain? No, 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 no. He will definitely go for Talisman for the engage, because a lot of times you would see uh, Alistair's go Righteous Glory, but this is basically True. a faster Righteous Glory. That's what I was wondering. It's kind of an interesting adaptation with that. Uh, well, now that Coin mm. gives you more money, yeah. uh, it has become a more worthwhile pickup. I think it's really solid on uh, Annie as well, too, for that reason. I and mean, we used to see people rush it all the time. Yeah, on an, uh, in an ideal situation, uh, you don't really need the tankiness on Alistair either because you yeah. should just be using your ultimate, right? Which basically makes it so you take hardly any damage at all. And if you could just get that engage tool faster, it becomes more efficient. True enough. Oh, blue steel early on from... Spend new? Yeah, from both teams. Yep. So, pretty standard here. We are going to see the lane swap. Fury, of course, on the Tristan, it isn't, he's just going to not use his skill points for a while. Doesn't want to push the wave with his E unintentionally. And he'll just sit there probably with a point at W. And in case he gets ganked. And that's about it. Until he decides that it is time to break the freeze. Uh, pretty much. Okay, dangerous TP. Very dangerous TP. Oh boy, that is exactly what you don't want to do because he's about to get dove and killed. Well, if Johnny could get there in time, but they have a ward and they're looking for um, Kuve. They're not pushing the lane up terribly quickly either. They're waiting for the next wave to come through. 
so they can have a nice big wave on the turret when they dive. Now this is this, actually Spenu. Oh, okay. Spenu backing off, but yeah, I'm not sure. So. I'm not sure it was worth it to back off right there because huh. there was a way that they could have intercepted Wraith while he was coming up and then waited for the. Uh, lane to collapse and then dove Kuve. I think they got nervous because they didn't know where Evelyn was. Uh, and they have no wards there to see where Evelyn is either. So it could have been three people on the top side. But even so, like Kuve not getting punished for just waltzing into lane like that with teleport when there isn't a Janna even anywhere close to helping him. Spenu at the very least could have uh, denied Wraith's ability to even get to the Tier 1 turret. Well, the funny thing is we actually saw Kuve die to that kind of decision many, many times in the spring season. For a little while, he was pretty notorious for going up there and dying from that early teleport. Him and Lilac. Well, but Spenu, that's, that is a good move if your enemy doesn't counter it, right? Uh, sure. It worked out for him because Spenu uh, didn't react. So in that case, it just ended up being A-OK, -okay, surprisingly. Does it seem just a little bit lucky, though? That his, his enemies just decided they were too scared to do it? Yeah, I, I think it was it was a risk. Yeah. <laughs> a rather large risk for not a lot of reward. But if you are not punished for your risks, uh, then who cares? I mean, Spenu, that's just an aspect of their shot calling. Hmm. The reward is living. Trying to get a kill here, actually. There's a yeah, rocket wow. jump. Going in on the soul a little bit. They'll get a little bit of damage on. They got his flash, which is nice. Yeah, he has a flash out immediately. Was scared of Eve and that all-in potential. Well, it should be. But he still is a little bit up in terms of CS, so that is going fine. And he's going to have that experience advantage because he doesn't have a support in his lane. He is in the solo lane. But Tristana, this is a really dangerous siege composition from Samsung. Uh, they have Tristana and Azir, two of the best siege champions in the game. So any towers that they get to without Spenu there with the wave clear are oh, going to hello. be a major danger. Eve's going to get seen. Catch going in. They get the flash from Eve as he tries to make it out. Some counter jungling that cost him. Catch with a nice response there. Wow, he even gets the ward as well too because of the raptor buff. Yep. So just clearing out what he can. There's still a pink ward nicely placed for Samsung in the enemy jungle. And now look at this, some aggressive counter jungling by Catch. He knows Eve is low. He might kill Eve here. Nope. But he's going to get the raptor, or at least one of them. Yeah. One tiny raptor. Oh, that was sad. Impaled. That's right. Bird versus bird. Murder. Yeah, that's what a bunch of birds are called sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Only some of them. No, it's just like it's a, like Warwick killing the wolves. Yeah, that's really weird. He's like, this wolf has two heads. It's an abomination. You other wolves are hanging out with him, so you're in trouble too. But he's walking on two legs. That's kind of a weird thing for a wolf to do too. Yeah, well, he's a werewolf. Yeah. He's an abomination as well. You'd think they'd stick together. Yeah, they they have to they have to stick together to to deal with all of the hate. All the nerfs. <laughs> all the nerfs. <laughs> to Warwick. <laughs> okay, Warwick is a champion that needs to be reworked big time. Oh, yeah. Definitely showing the age of his kit these days. Well, One of those are so. original champions. Yep. Well, once in, a, you know, once in a while, a jungle item comes around that's ridiculously OP, and then he pops up again for a couple weeks. <laughs> then it gets nerfed, and, and by its nerf, Warwick is also nerfed. <laughs> Lives and dies by the jungle item, Warwick. Pretty much. Well, a lot of farming going on. Not a lot else so far. Yeah, it looks like now Spenu wants to get back into standard lanes. So they have the BF sword pickup, but that's going to be matched instantly by Fury on the recall. But Spenu just a hair faster, and that means they're going to get a free dragon. This is a good call from Spenu. Yeah. Really snap decision, but... They're going to be able to grab, looks like, the first dragon of the game. Yeah, nothing that Samsung can really do about it. And Spinner didn't get a single dragon last game, so this is pretty nice. Yeah, much better dragon control. This time, somebody actually takes the recall advantage that mm -hmm. we saw go, what, just do it. Come on, Wraith. Come on, steal it with Whirlwind. You got this. Oh. Oh, you, you, uh, oh, oh that was really reset. close. <laughs> 
That was really close, actually. If Wraith stole that with the tornado on a dragon leash reset, that would have been <laughs> hilarious. Oh, nice. Whoa. They got the blue buff. Sassen yeah. with the true shot barrage. Sick. Had a ward yeah. on that objective. So good setup by Spenu. Had the oh. ward there. Meanwhile, <laughs> Fury gets first blood against Secret. Oh, you know, right. like you do. Yeah, that happens. Fury and Wraith, known for their laning phase, and you know, uh, we've Secret somehow didn't even have use his flash right there. He's trying to uh, make his own chapter in the history of the vivid legacy where you just walk up and die. Well, there you go like that. I think Secret underestimated what he could do. Maybe he's not used to playing without Relic Shield, but he doesn't have tank stats on the coin. Yeah. And <laughs> that does change things a little bit in terms of what your limits are in some of these plays. But Secret, I, it's just, ugh. You know, as I recall, going back to the Dragon, we did see it get stolen with Janna Tornado once. Yes, we did. I was trying to remember who that was. Was that Wolf that did it? I'm trying to remember now. I don't recall. Yeah. But we have seen it. We have seen it. What's the weakest? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, Double buffs too, Sassen. Right then. Taking all the buffs. I'll get one buff off the camp and the other buff off your dead body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was fantastic from Sassen. No kidding. Showing how much damage that True Shot Barrage can do. Yeah, even with just good. a little bit of AP. And yep, just gonna push the wave out. So Eve, not respecting the power of the True Shot Barrage getting very low on a jungle clear, and that means that uh, the red buff gets picked up by Sassen. In addition to the blue buff, he stole with his last True Shot Barrage. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good performance so far from Sassen already. Sassen's been performing very well in the last couple weeks. Yeah. What's the weakest ability you've ever used to steal an objective? Oh, I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. Oh. I stole a dragon with Glitter Lance once. That was mine. Oh, they're going to go in onto Soul here. They get the fear. Soul very low. Flashes, drops that equalizer, but he'll still go down, Eve, with the kill there. Yep, just easy flash pickup. Yep. After the equalizer gets dropped. So Kuve and Eve starting to make things work in the top side of the map. Kuve needs to get to that Trinity Force so he can actually threaten Sasan on this Ezreal. We'll watch Kuve. He got that MVP in the first game for his performance on. Maokai for dealing with Sasan in the back line. He's got to repeat that performance now. He definitely does. Okay, so Sasan, Rune Glaive is finished. Let's see if he goes for the Luden's Echo as his next item, as his common. I would think so. Well, Crown actually got that. Yeah, he did. Doesn't Ooh. want to have any more Raptors stolen. I'm excited for the Spenu Wombo combo when it happens. If they execute it properly, it's going to be hilarious because everybody's going to die instantly on Samsung. Well, the two shot barrages from Sasan have been certainly pretty accurate so far. Question is for me, Doa, is mostly Souls equalizers. <laughs> yeah. And Secret's ability to engage properly because he needs to get a good pull off. The question is will they be all able to get there? at the same time, at the right angle. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure. If they do, it could be good. If. Yes, it's a big if. Sasin, for the most part, though, is individual performance. Solid so far. Mm -hmm. So far he can take that for a carry. Has that kill, but otherwise not too much of any kind of advantage. As we see the gold edge still going over to Samsung. Oh, here comes Eve. No flash for Soul. No ult for Eve, though, so... You could just wait for his yeah, ult. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do. It's not so long. Uh, they don't have Onslaught of Shadows either. Meanwhile, Soul has, e or has, has Equalizer. It's not going to work as long as they Ooh. don't have ults. Here comes Wraith. Yeah, Eve coming They're up. They're just waiting. Alt's about to come up. Here comes Catch to join in the fight as well. This could get interesting. Alt used onto Soul. Kuve comes in as well. Chilling Smite used Soul getting very low. There's the Equalizer. Wraith comes in as well. Nice headbutt pulverized from Secret. Janna Tornado pushes everybody out of the Cataclysm. Eve is saved that way. And can they get Secret as well? He pops that ultimate. Very tanky for the moment anyway. And it looks like Samsung won't get any more. 
Yeah, and catch right there, he waited a long time to ult yeah. on that. And so Soul was dead before the Cataclysm even hit the ground there. So a pretty easy kill considering Soul got down to like one third HP nearly instantaneously. Soul decided not to go arm guard this game on the Rumble, so he doesn't have a lot of protection against the Eve uh, Hecarim ganks in the top lane. He's very, very squishy, and with that warrior enchant that Eve has, there's a lot of damage to be done. Hmm. Well, all right. Well, Gold's Fury still. Oh. Ooh, Fury has a an Infinity Edge now, and Nuclear still has to recall to get his. So this is a really good timing for Samsung, right as the dragon's about to come up. Uh, they don't have the Onslaught of Shadows, but it doesn't really make a big difference right now because basically Nuclear is going to have to recall if he wants to match Fury in terms of item power. Well, Soul doesn't have Teleport either, which may make a big difference if Samsung does yep. decide to fight this. Yes, you are. You are correct, sir. Now, and Jujab Barrage is down. I just do the dragon right now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, it looks like they're a little bit worried about the Samsung, or the Spenu players in the jungle, rather. Looks like they're going for it anyway, though. Yeah, and Spenu really can't contest this. I think they know. Yeah, Infinity Edge done. Teleport advantage. Lane's pushed out. Ooh, or can they? Wow, Spenu. Nope, they should not do yeah, this. Yeah, Dragon, and it looks like Catch is going to get a little bit too close. Barely makes it out. Samsung grabs their first dragon of the game. Yeah, very easy dragon there for Samsung. Total loss of control from Spenu. And yeah, we've seen two recall timings uh, heavily influence the dragons, the first two dragons of this game. Spenu took an advantage the first time. Now that edge goes back as Fury has the opportunity to go back and buy first. There he goes, clearing out the wave as best he can. Which is pretty easy with Runeglaive and a needlessly large rod. You know, something that Spenu really needs this game is a Frozen Heart. And I'm not sure who exactly is going to buy it, but Frozen Heart has a big effect on Kuve, Crown, and Fury. It's an absolutely necessary item. And normally the top laner would purchase it, but you're not going to get that item on Rumble. I would think you'd have to get it on either uh, Catch or Secret this game. Probably Catch, right? Well, they're going to try to catch Soul here. Soul still with no flash. Well, he tried to use it anyway to get away. Eve with the kill there, and he gets out of turret range. Just in time. Oh, there we go. Catch bottling up Kuve, though. No escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. No escape for the pony. Nope. He got. He corralled that pony. <laughs> uh oh. oh Two shot barrage. He's got, oh, oh, oh. Really? This could be amazing. <gasps> oh! So close! <laughs> that was so smart by oh. Sasan. That was beautiful, man. <laughs> Even if that it didn't brought work. a single <laughs> tear to my eye. <laughs> oh, and they lost the turret. He could have used it to clear the wave, but he he went for the he went for the swag kill, and it didn't quite work that out. That could have been an amazing swag kill. Yeah. The timing of that too was nearly perfect. Yeah. That was like literally a millisecond off. I get the knock up onto nuclear wraith, getting a bit bloodthirsty. Over the wall comes Fury. Uh oh. Damage onto secret. Kuve uh -oh. teleporting down. Spenu is in a bit of trouble, but yep, just trading TPs. I guess not in too much trouble. The trading TPs and. Uh, Onslaught of Shadows wasn't up. Whoa, uh -oh, Crown, Crown misses his ultimate. Two shot barrage goes through. Yeah, he hit that one. A <laughs> little, bit, little bit shorter range. Well, Crown died without using his barrier or flash <laughs> on that little all in. So, slightly sloppy. They're still going to go after Speed Secret. Secret has yep, oh, that'll the, do it. the Zephyr kill. Uh, actually, w. the W following for the, the finisher. They yep. knew that Secret had no ultimate. I feel like Crown missed his ult and then he was just like frozen in terror. He was like, oh no, as he saw the two shot barrage get loaded up. He's like, I accept my fate. I miss my ultimate. I deserve this. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. Well, the fast push from Tristana is going to be starting in earnest now. And once she starts getting a little bit more attack speed here. Going to make short work of that outer ring of turrets. We remain very close in this game, as it is kind of a hilarious highlight reel of skirmishes at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. It's Eve. <laughs> Soul gets ulted, gets ulted, gets dead.
I mean, the fact that Soul still doesn't have any armor, it why would you gank another hey. lane if you're Eve at this point? You hey. know it's you're just gonna kill this rumble he's, a million times in a row. He's got a Doran shield. Come on. <laughs> he's got armor. Let's be accurate, all right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, he just needs an arm guard so badly, and y you really have to respect the, the Hecarim damage. And the arm guard shuts down so much of what this Hecarim Eve combo could do to you. Mm. <laughs> but why do that when dying to Eve and the top laner over and over again is so much fun? Uh, I mean, it's just a blast, isn't it, Doa? I'm enjoying it, personally. Oh, Cataclysm on to Eve. Catch, living up to his name for now. Sasson comes in to load on the damage. Two shot barrage misses. And there's a oh. flash Q. Whoa, Sasson. <laughs> yep, so he, if he, he basically just punished him, played the true shot barrage while it was either going to hit or put even range for the finisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, you don't have armor from Doran's shield. You don't? No, that was removed. Well, now it just blocks. Of, it, blocks it blocks uh, champion damage. Wow, what a totally inaccurate item. A shield that doesn't give you armor? It blocks right. things. Right, please. It blocks things. It, yeah. it sort of does that. Not very well, apparently. Well, we already know that Doran is the worst. You know, that's the whole thing. Riot lore. Okay, they say Doran is this amazing craftsman, right? Well, why does he make the cheapest, he makes crappiest, the crappiest stuff? items? <laughs> yeah, we need an upgrade. We need to find, like, I don't know, like Bob's shield or, like, Bob's boots or something, you know? like Because clearly Doran does not make quality stuff. And it's not... Everybody knows it, too. Yeah. Because uh, even the shopkeepers sell his garbage items for so cheap. Yeah, no kidding. They're like, oh, you want, like, another Doran's ring? Here, take three. I'm just trying to unload them. And all the trolls on the internet are like, yeah, I'll take three Doran's rings, sure. It's like a knockoff Rolex. <laughs> Seriously. It's like Doran's the guy who, like, he's on the street corner in Piltover. He's like, I've got some great rings, replica rings. <laughs> Give you a little bit of stats, not not a lot. Look nice. Replica shield. It doesn't doesn't have any armor. But it blocks. <laughs> Dorn's Dorn's blade. And someday no. when you get a real shield, you can uh, like an Aegis, you can sell my garbage item for uh, you know a little bit of money. Get yeah. some return. That's right, and the pawn shop's filled with Dorn shields. <laughs> yep, the shopkeeper's like, oh, I knew you'd be bringing this back. Nobody ever keeps it. Well, actually, a lot of people keep it all game. That's that's actually a problem. Now, maybe we've underestimated Doran's items because people seem to really like to hold on to them. They become like family heirlooms, <laughs> you know? Here we go. You can see that Rudenglaive Luden's power spike starting to take hold. Wraith just yep. chunked down to 50% of his HP with one Q. You know, the definition Jeez. of balance right there. Nidalee Spears. Oh, Sawson trying to zone a bit. And the dragon will go to Spenu. I'll pick up their second of the game. Why even smite when uh, a Q from Ezreal does more damage? Yeah, that's right. At this point have, of the game. If you don't have Callista in the game, at least you need a Runeglaive Ezreal. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. And the turret is saved. Hooray. <laughs> so, I mean, Crown and the rest of Samsung trying to set up that siege. That's what their comp is great at, but they're just getting poked so incredibly hard right now. And Sasset, you know, he's gonna get his Void Staff as the Aegis is finished for Eve, pretty much. So that's just gonna cut through a lot of that protection that Samsung is trying to develop right now. Yeah, pretty much. I suppose it really depends on if Samsung can get that siege rolling, huh? Well, at least they have a split push advantage with the Hecarim. So they can 4-1 split this game, which means that the AP Ezreal can't be everywhere at once, which is nice. And if he does use his ult on a, on a side wave, then you have an opportunity to siege where he is. True. Which is the positive, but this Ezreal was not punished very hard in the laning phase, and now it's resulting in a situation where he's been allowed to grow and get these kills. Oh, he's not going for a Void Staff yet, just a Death Cap. Yep. More damage. Hello, your shot barrage. Pretty much clearing the wave. It's going to be really hard to push really any lane right now. Nope, they can 1-3-1 they can with Tristana and with Hecarim. Uh, because they have very fast wave clear with those two champions on the side. So mm. that's kind of how they're going to have to win this, I think. 
if they want to. I suppose, too, if Sasson is having to constantly use that true shot barrage to clear waves, he's not going to have it if a yeah. team fight breaks out as well, too. So the wombo combo that we talked about earlier isn't as much of a threat. Yes, that is definitely true. Infinity edges for everybody. And Phantom Dancer for Fury. So going for the wow. more damage-oriented item for these team fights, and probably smart. He's going to be looking to get all of those big resets. Well, you mentioned, too, the wave clear, too, is just going to be even better. Going to be able to push up lanes very quickly. All the action around Baron right now. Fury taking a little bit of damage from that, thanks to nuclear. Fury's kind of on his own right now. No, yeah, he's fine. Okay. Suppose he could just rocket jump over the wall. Has his flash and heal up, has his rocket jump. You can leave him alone pretty effectively right now. True. You just want to put, you need to one through one. Um, and that's what they're getting done right now. Kuve not exactly in a great place to finish off a turret, still waiting on that Trinity Force. Yeah, he's taken a, a little while to get there despite uh, getting some of those kills early on. Wow, they want the blue buff. Catch coming in. Can Samsung respond to this? Maybe. Blue buff does go over to Eve. Able to smite it away. Yep, but denying it from the Azir. Uh, Kuve backed off just for a little while there to see if he needed to go ahead and TP in. And that will not be the case. But he has a 1,400 gold up on his laning opponent at the moment. Wow. And he hasn't shopped in a while. Can he actually go back and finish off a major purchase here? He should be well within range to get the Trinity for us right now. I think he could, and he probably should think about doing that soon. Oh, gets the crop. <laughs> Uh-oh. Taking a lot of damage, though. He may have to ult away. Oh, true shot Braj coming in, doing a lot of damage. Kuve. Oh, Kuve. You're in big trouble now. Ults away. Equalizer nice dodges dodge. it. Not bad. Wow. Right into the devastating charge nice for the moves. retreat. Yeah. So Soul got baited into that. Soul also didn't have Flash to follow up. So it was pretty... Kuve was going to get out of that one pretty much no matter what. Mm-hmm. Both ultimates, I would imagine, should be up by the time Dragon appears. Yes, yes they will be. And Trinity Force complete, as well as an additional Ruby Crystal. Aegis is done, so this is a nice time. Of course, this Ringlave is still going to be doing a lot of damage, even with that item. But at least they have it for a bit more protection for the entire team around the, in the next objective. So Samsung in a pretty good position, all things considered. But uh, the Assassin's Ezreal is still very scary. Uh, Crown just finished his Abyssal Scepter, which will help out quite a bit. Yeah, some very important item timings. Yeah. Ah, uh, Deathcap done, though, for Assassin. And he picks up a fiendish, a fiendish Codex on top of it. So, yeah, still doing a ton of damage. The He's still got that Doran's Ring, too. The fact that Soul hasn't finished the Zonias yet is pretty huge because he just can't survive that burst without that item that's going to be targeted at him in the front line. He's a long way away from that as well, too. Uh, he's a few minion waves. He's about 300 gold away right now. Soul? From the Zonias, yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't see he had the uh, needlessly large rod. I thought he yep. still just had the uh, arm guard. Yeah, so they're going to try and farm that up. That's a very important item, whether or not Spenu has it at this next dragon fight. Hmm. But with the pressure, oh. he may not have too much of an opportunity. Yeah, it looks like he's getting some, but we'll see. Dragging up in 10 seconds. Not a lot of time to go back and buy. He does have the teleport to get back to the fight, though. Yes, he does, but he's not going to be able to set up very well around the dragon. And as hard as Samsung is pushing into this mid lane at the moment, Spenu may just have to go back and give up this dragon, even though they got some wards down. Uh, or they're going to have to use maybe True Shot Barrage on the minion wave. Hmm. Nope, they managed to sneak Sivir back around. Still kind of an awkward timing for them, and they're going to lose a bunch of wards. Still have the crab up for just a few more seconds, and Samson going to go ahead and start right here. TP's coming in. Yeah, that's right. Both teams, and it looks like Kube could be coming from behind here. Will he get the flank? 
They're still working on the Dragon Wraith, turning around everybody back out for the moment. Kuve running down into the river. Oh, Cataclysm catches up. True Shot Project goes through, does a ton of damage to Crown and Fury. Equalizer comes in as well, too. Samsung trying to turn it around. Jana taken out mid. Oh, ooh, and Sasson is starting to do work with this damage. Man, Spenu really cleaning up that team fight hard. They're going to get the Dragon as well. And they got uh -oh. exactly the fight that they wanted. They're going to take the Baron also off of these Death Timers because there's no TP. Now, when we saw Kuve attempt to engage on the flank there, he got turned around by catch very fast. And then he got in front of the team. And that's exactly what Spenu needs, is this everybody in front of them, no threat of the flank, so that they could just move forward with all of their speed and CC. Eve wants to just walk up and smite this. We'll see if he can get it. It's going to be close. He's got his flash. He has ward. They have wards. Here we go. Coming in. He's going to try it. Doesn't even get there. Doesn't even get to try. Whoop. Oh, two shot barrage. <laughs> Sasson knows. He knows where Eve is. He's hunting Evelyn's. No, he's not. He's going to deal with the minion wave. Well, this has a been a very good game for Sasson. Yeah, no kidding. So let's take a look at this. So when Hecarim needs to go around the outside, he makes a mistake here, Kuve, by coming right back around to join his team and getting caught out. Three people hit by the True Shot Barrage immediately, and Kuve has to ult out. Now there's no more backline threat onto Spenu, so they can just walk forward and get a million skill shots down, and there's absolutely no defense for Samsung. That fight was very badly misplayed by Kuve. Yeah, it looks that way. Sassen is just getting way too strong to deal with right now, too. Yeah, you have to just go back there and tie up the Ezreal, otherwise there's, there's no point. Mm -hmm. That said, it's still... A very slight gold lead here for Spenu. Gonna yes. grab some more turrets off the pressure That's the from question the Baron. Is, what's the lead that Spenu's gonna have after this Baron? It looks like it's gonna be much bigger than it is now. They yeah, can just it, keep pushing. It's just. only 4k, 3.5k now though. So, and Fury did set up the wave at the bottom side. So there's not going to be another play onto the bottom tier two. There's no dragon to take. So mm. really, Samsung, if they don't make a terrible error, should be able to just weather the storm, wait out the Baron, and then go on a counter offensive about the time the next dragon spawns. There's always a chance, too, that as the game goes later and later, Spenu's decision making you know, may suffer a little bit. As it usually does. Yeah. And as the Hecarim gets tankier and tankier, too. True enough. And I mean, Tristana and Zero are still going to scale really well. So Samsung can just kind of pull back, play it safe, and sort of try to outscale them and wait for a mistake to happen in the late game. I mean, if they get a pick on Sasson, it's just over. As far as, yes. like, any team fights here. Problem is actually executing that. It's up to even yeah. Kuve to have much better team fights. See him going into the Glacial Shroud right now. I suppose Nuclear actually doing a lot of damage as well. There's not a lot of armor. Well, but the problem with Nuclear is if he walks forward, Fury is just going to auto-attack him outside of Sivir range. And that hurts quite a bit. Yeah. It all depends on... You know, if Sasson can sort of stay elusive and let Nuclear get the damage done. Because if all the pressure's on Sasson, who knows? Yeah, I think the real key to this game is, is Kuve and how well he can coordinate with Eve on these engages. Because he can't do what he did last time, which is just like ult back out. That serves no purpose. You, you're not escaping from that when there's a Sivir ult charging you down. Yeah. Well, Kuve in a position to possibly flank a little bit here. He's uncomfortable because he doesn't have as many items as he would like at this stage of the game. He's not at three items yet. He's nervous. That is a not good true shot barrage. Yeah, and they may, they might decide to engage on this. Yeah, Kuve trying to come around from the side now without the true shot barrage. This is a bit risky for Spenu. Lots of wards see him, though. The flank yeah. wards are present for Spenu, and now that's going to force Kuve to back mm. off. But they did get them away from the Tier 2 turret. And there is no more Baron buff, so Dragon in a minute of 30 looking pretty decent for 
Samsung, in spite of Spenu's lead, because the only person who really has money, most of the differential in gold, you can see 3,000 of that 4,000 is coming from Sasin over Crown. Right. So everyone else on the team, if you kill Sasin, that lead vanishes. Yeah, very true. Well, Samsung getting in a position to take this dragon. The last one did not go well for them at all. And if they let Spenu take this fourth dragon, then things start to get very, very scary. Oh, another two-shot barrage. It, wow, misses the wave, too, even. Weird. I wonder what that was about. Now they don't huh. have control over mid. They don't have the ability to push up the wave. You can see a lot of potions starting to be used for Spenu. They want to use the gold to on this dragon fight to make sure they get it and they can snowball off of a fifth dragon. I mean, if they get fifth dragon right here with the poke from Ezreal and the true damage from the dragon, fifth dragon buff, that is ridiculous. There's almost no way that Samsung could survive that situation. It'd be a big threat. And uh, whoever wins this next team fight is can have a pretty good shot at taking Baron too, probably. Yeah, they're not too close together. If the dragon's taken immediately, it won't matter, but if it goes for a minute of dancing, that's when it, they can start to get sketchy. Looks like it might be a little while. Kuve waiting to come in. He's got a really decent ward, actually, in the river. To okay. come in from behind, and are they gonna try here? I think this is, I think this is it. This the setup, is the moment. The Soul. setup is good for Samsung. Yeah, Soul a little bit late to the party, too. Are they gonna start the dragon? If they're going to do it, it has to be now. Teleport coming in. Oh, Wraith gets chunked out pretty heavily. Here comes Kuve, though. Two-shot Praj doesn't hit anybody. Kuve, a very awkward timing, but he can still try to engage. Alt used by Wraith just to heal everybody up. Dragon very low. Eve comes in, doesn't get it. Equalizer goes through the choke. And now Eve has to try to escape here. Oh, nice of Zero Alt pushing Spinu back a little bit, but they turn right around. Samsung just does not seem to know how to engage on these dragon fights this game. Well, that fight, actually, Sasin did a great job of chunking out the Janna. He also forced Wraith's Flash with the True Shot Barrage and then the Monsoon to be used early. And if you have to use the Monsoon to heal, that was a bad mistake because they needed to prevent the engage from the Sivir and the Jarvan and the Alistair and the rest of the team. Hmm. Without that, you can't do much of anything at all to protect your back line. Oh, goodbye, Eve. Wow, nice Cataclysm catching three people, and Fury barely dodges the two-shot barrage. Looks like it's not going to matter, though, as Sasin picks up the triple anyway. Jeez, catch with the kill as well, and this game's over. Yeah, they're going to annihilate these turrets. They're going to annihilate the base, and Spenu getting a win in a game, something we have not seen for quite a while. Fury trying to make it an unofficial AAC will, and that is it. Spenu takes game two. Wow, and Sasin's individual performance that game, stealing buffs, Getting kills on Eve for buffs in the jungle. Uh, just that in his play on this Runeglaive Ezreal. Now, it's a very strong pick, but he absolutely hard carried this team. Yes, he did. And it was a cool comp. I really like the comp. And without any good way or reliable way, at the very least, to get back on Sasen, there wasn't much they could do. But that's also credit to Sasen for his positioning, where there wasn't really ever a teleport flank that worked out.